Welcome to Dominate DocuSign. So we're going to go over DocuSign in just a few short minutes and I will share my screen with you. So today this, uh, this class is just a short video on how to enter your documents, get them signed and send them off to your clients. So let me share my screen with you and we'll get started. Okay, let me jump over to documents. Now, um, <clears throat> just before this, I, I recorded the previous video with contact to close and we created a con we created an opportunity in kw command and uh, i called this um 45 laura avenue and caitlin ox if you recognize that name yes that's my daughter um so this is a training module and uh she's not actually buying that house so uh, what i did was i created the documents and then i went to the transaction and it created the room over in DocuSign. In the previous recording, you'll see that we went to details first, okay? We edited all the details in, the, um, in this field, so in the details field, so that they will auto-populate into the system. Uh, once you do that, you'll see that the fields open up and you can continue to enter the data. The middle part of the page is all about the property and the right-hand side of the page is about the people. All right, so whatever details you have, whether it's a listing or a sale, you can enter the data here, okay? And then just click Save. Now, I'm going over to the document section right here. When uh, I recorded the last video, I added the documents by clicking Add. I went to DocuSign Forms. <clears throat> it opens up this area. You can either choose the library, which is all the documents that you're your market center is associated with, or you can pl click groups. And the groups are form sets that are pre-populated from your market center. So it will make it easier for you to grab and go. So basically you click the form sets, you pick the one that is appropriate for what you're looking to do. In that case, I had originally clicked listing, you represent the seller. And because this has a gray checkbox, it's showing that I already selected all of these forms to be included in this document room. So I'm just gonna click cancel for now because they're already added to the room. This is where we left off from the last recording. I can either click into each one of these forms or I can select all. Um, once you click into the room, into the form, you'll be able to see the form on the larger screen and this is where you enter the data. Um, one of the things that has been um, a little bit of a, a learning curve is that you create the documents, then you need to create the envelope, and then you need to place the signatures. So using pre-tagged roles for signatures is important. Right here, you're looking at where you need to create the documents, fill in the documents as you do in New Jersey here. So you'll see that the uh, information that has been pre-populated to this form is already set up. So I'm going to save and close. I'll show you another form. And this was set up as a listing folder, a listing transaction. And let me go to a listing document. Exclusive right to sell document. I'm just clicking in the form and it will open up and you'll see this form is directly from the association. And when you look at it in this particular page, it looks like the fields are overlaying on the other uh, words on the page. However, once it's populated into the next, uh, the, in, in the next page, you'll see that it does end up looking better. Um, so you could go in here and edit this, and this is 26. And there's address, listing phone number. Okay. You just add whatever you need to add. Here's the sales price of the house, it's in here. This particular form is a little funky um, in the sense that the 
fields overlay the other items. So let's say 28th day of April 2020 and expire on the 31st day of October 2020. You get the idea. Um, you fill in all the documents where you need to, check the appropriate boxes, whichever one works. You'll see that this is, um, this is called a radio button. You can click either or, but you can't click both. Um, in this case, the owners agree to permit or do not agree to permit. So um, that's an either or button. It's called a radio button. Um, you click the appropriate one. You add all the data, remarks. Um, excluded. Okay, and then down here you see that it's adding my name on the salesperson. Uh, later on, you'll see where the signatures go. Okay, most of you that are familiar with this form know that the signatures need to go in here um, for the broker side and listing agent side, and the owners go over here. This is accurate the way it's showing up right now, and you'll see later on that the signatures will be entered onto the form later. So the next thing that you do, once you are complete with all of the fields, you just save and close. Okay. <clears throat> once this saves, it's gonna open up all of the documents that are in the room. And then you simply click the little circle because now what we're going to do is we're going to prepare the documents for the signatures you would click all of the documents that you would need to send out to your clients. Once you know that all of the documents are set up properly for signatures, and let's just say that they are, we're gonna click all of the items. If you notice, there's a toolbar that just showed up up here. I'll do that one more time, let me uncheck this. There's no toolbar until the button is checked. And when you see the toolbar, it says you can copy this document, you can move it, email it, DocuSign, which is prepare it for signatures, download, archive, or unarchive. So I want to send these out for signatures. I'm going to click the little DocuSign button. All right, now what's happening is that this is just like preparing an email and um, you're going to set up the email here, but uh, you're, you're actually telling it which person is going to sign for this document. So the envelope name is simply so that you can actually go back and find it. So this is um, it's telling me these are the documents that I have in the room. If I forgot a document, I can just hit room docs and go find more documents that I need. Uh, this is important. Add recipient. There are three choices, pre-tagged roles, room participants, or email address, which you can add somebody in on the fly. Um, in order for the, the signatures to be placed on the right lines, you need to click pre-tagged roles, and that will associate the people that you put in the details in the beginning of this room. So click pre-tagged roles, and then it'll open up. It's recognizing the lines and spaces that are in the documents that you already selected for this room. Um, applicant and borrow one and borrow two. Uh, this is specific to the Carnegie Business Disclosure, which is a custom document for our market center. Um, it's asking me, who is the borrower one? And borrower too. Uh, in this case, I actually clicked the wrong uh, document, uh, but I could pick, let me see, I can pick any one of us in here. All right, the seller one, this is another important uh, tip. When you are including a seller's disclosure, uh, New Jersey seller's disclosure, um, the fields are set up to be filled in by the seller one. So always make sure that the, the person that you assign the seller one is the person that you expect to fill in the sales, uh, seller's disclosure, the property disclosure. Okay, so I'm going to choose Caitlin as she is seller one. And then I have listing broker, myself, 
as a listing agent. Remember, uh, in the last video, I showed you where I added LA next to my name in the details field. And that's because I this is myself and the identity that I gave myself in the details of the listing agent role. So that was just my little tip. Okay. And now I'm going to add selective. Once you add selected, you'll see that it assigns numbers on the left-hand side. Now, it assigned Caitlin a number one, and she's my seller. Um, she's also number two, and that was for the uh, disclosure form, the Carnegie Business Disclosure. Um, the reason why it assigns numbers, you're telling the system that those people need to sign before the next person does. So if everybody wants to sign it at the same time, you just assign everybody the number one. If you want the sellers to sign before you see it, and you want that all completed before you look at it and sign it, then leave the sellers as number ones, and then add you as a number two. Um, either way, let me see. It's this one is forcing it to be a number two. And I'm going to say that the listing broker can be a number two. Okay. That the only reason why that's forcing it is because of the nature of the document that I added in that room. Down here, you're you're preparing the email that goes out. So you're going to uh, say something that makes sense to the seller. So uh, listing documents. Okay, please review and sign where indicated. Okay, um, let me just move that little box around. You, you can save and close at this point, or you can click the next button. There's also actions in here you can copy or delete, but most of you are going to save and close or click next. Um, next is going to show you where the signatures go. Okay, so now we're going to just eyeball that the signatures are all in the right place. And in the event that we need to add anything, we can do that now. So for this disclosure, I see that um, my seller is going to sign here. <clears throat> Where's the other document? There it is, okay. This is the listing document, and it's showing me that the broker's gonna sign here. I did something, let me see. It didn't add Caitlin. It has Caitlin in two different spaces. I must have tagged her wrong. So I'm realizing that she needs to go over here. What I can do is just click the signature and I can bring that over there and drop her in, okay? If I realize that this is wrong, I can delete it, okay? I can delete. Um, this is adding me as the signature for, you notice on the left-hand side, it's automatically populating different colors for each person that's in the room. So. Caitlin was automatically populated as a purple. Let me just pop that back in again. So in essence, um, she was entered in as uh, two roles and one of them had to do with the Carnegie uh, document. Okay. Um, normally you wouldn't have those two colors for the same person. So that's all you need to do to make sure that your sellers are in the Field or your clients are on the right signature field. And once they're all done, you would just hit send. You can also look at a recipient preview. All right, and this will show you what the client is going to see. And up here on the top, there are three different items. You can look at it on the desktop view. You can look at it on the mobile view. I'm sorry, that's the tablet view. And then the mobile view. Okay, and uh, you can get a good look and see what that looks like. All right, if you're done looking at that preview, 
and you think everything's good to go, then you just click the send button and that would be it. And that's how you get your, your clients to sign documents. Have a great day.